Trends have existed in pop culture for many years. Sometimes they last and sometimes they fade away. But what is it that makes a certain product a trend that lasts or a fad that dies out? That's what we want to find out. When I think of a trend, I think of have I seen it on my friends. I'm usually not the first one to buy into a trend, so if I see it on them and enough people are wearing it or doing it, I'm like, oh, okay, this is this is becoming becoming trendy. Or I'll just see it in the media enough that I begin to recognize it as something that a lot of people are doing. Okay, definitely if it's like being worn a lot by celebrities, because I feel like celebrities are like the main trendsetters. And then if you see it like a lot around school and stuff like that, the more people that have it, the more trendy it is. Accessibility, yeah. If you can like get to a trend and like if it starts in like a higher end store and it's more expensive and then it slowly gets it's into all other the other stores stuff. because it sticks around, it's like has a high demand. If it's accessible to more people, then it like is going to be more successful and Access be around longer. Accessible and affordable. Mm -hmm. Well, something that's trendy has to be developed through like it's a lifestyle really. Like, I'm going to use a skateboard for an example. There's an entire clothing line and shoe style based off of skateboards. Um, definitely price is a factor. I definitely like going secondhand shopping and things just to see um, what I can get there. Um, but in, in regards to my personal style, I think it's just my own tastes and I guess that's probably influenced by my friends and things I see. The price, the need, and just sort of like my influence from like media, Pinterest, stuff like that. Well, if it's trending, that's definitely like an up, but it's more like if I like it personally, I'll buy it. It's definitely like correlation between like the price and the quality. Like I'm not gonna pay a lot, a lot for like top, top quality, but I'm not gonna pay like dirt cheap for like something that's gonna fall apart the next day. So like if it's in the middle of the two, then I'll definitely like make me wanna buy it. Price is like number, number one. one yes. Number one is price, because like I don't even care how trendy it is or who's wearing it. If like it's like <laughs> stupid have, uh, expensive. No, no, no. Yeah. No, I don't see a point. Jewelry. I'm definitely for me. It would be something like jewelry. Like when the turquoise stone became really popular, I like rarely wear any jewelry. But like yeah. that like three dollar yeah. ring from Forever Twenty One, like it cost me three dollars. I was like, oh, I'll try this out because it's trendy. Turns out I still don't like wearing jewelry. So <laughs> I guess like that kind of thing. But it really does come back to price. Yeah, for sure. Probably just shirts that were in style like Urban Outfitters or something like that. And I was like, yeah, these are cool, this is what everyone's wearing, and then I went and put it on and was like, I don't know why I like this at all, or why I paid money for this. Yeah, like Chelsea boots. I bought some Chelsea boots, which is like a trendy boot right now, and I've worn them like maybe twice. Well, like a couple companies released like some styles, and then I saw like H&M drop them, and I was like, I might as well buy them. I can solidly say not in the last few years. I think when I was younger, that definitely affected things, but, but definitely not recently. Uh, definitely more from like the internet, like definitely a lot in like hip hop culture. So like a lot of like Kanye West, ASAP Rocky, like that type of scene. Like a lot of like blogs, like Complex Magazine, and like just like stuff like that that like talks about fashion. People who have similar style to me or are around the same age group, sort of. So look at bloggers or people on Pinterest who have similar styles, who are in college, that sort of thing. Um, I would probably just be social media. I'm, I'm not a big one to follow any celebrity gossip or anything, so it's really what my friends are posting and sharing that I, that I get that from. Social media, probably mostly social. YouTube. YouTube yeah. and Instagram, I'd say. Instagram too. I feel like Instagram because it's like quick and easy to scroll through and mm -hmm. search for, and YouTube because it's a more in-depth yeah, view. And... Yeah, either someone's telling you about like their experience with a product or whatever they've like bought and are showing you, or they're trying it on, you can see it like in a more realistic way than looking at like the model shot online. Yeah. For the fad, it's just something that's like really cool and in the moment they're not like really that useful and like not that practical, but like trend would actually be like pretty useful. Typically, I feel like trends either start on the runway with like high fashion or they start with celebrities and then it sort of trickles down into department stores and then stores like Forever 21 and stuff and people are like, oh, this is trendy, I'll wear this. And then it just sort of follows that path. It fits like 
society and what's going on, if someone who's like influential picks it up and then like people who are easily influenced jump on the train and then their friends jump on the train, just snowballs. So if it's accessible, it's affordable, it's popular, it just like appears everywhere, like if it's endorsed I guess well. I guess it, yeah, and if it, it comes across in multiple platforms, you see it in fashion, maybe you'll see it also on TV, you'll see it in technology or something, it's across more than just one like media form or one sort of platform. It's like everywhere. I think a trend is something where you see enough people um, with it, it's become popular and um, it's something that fits in with people's lives so they've embraced it. But I think that a fad is one of these faster things that maybe a celebrity or the media has popularized it. And so it comes in but really it doesn't fit with how people actually want to be or live and so then it fades out quicker. Not particularly. I just buy it because I like it. I guess because like with trends, like things are more like easily accessible or available to you, you might think like, oh, I've never really done that in the past, but I could try it because it's available to me. And like you might be able to find like a cheap version to try it out at the start. You might find that you like it. So I guess like it can influence what you buy, but I don't think it necessarily like changes everything. It might encourage you to try new things, but I don't think I'd go out of my way to like adapt my life towards one trend. Yeah, I definitely think that if it doesn't fit my lifestyle, if it just isn't practical on a day-to-day -day basis for me, um, then I don't really consider it worth the investment. A key factor to a product becoming a trend or a fad is whether it is adopted by consumers. Diffusion of innovation refers to the process whereby a new product, service, or idea spreads through a population. Products go through an adoption cycle where different consumers adopt the product at different stages of its product life cycle. Innovators and early adopters are very quick to adopt new products. The early majority and late majority represent the mainstream public who are interested in new things but do not want to be the first ones to adopt them. Laggards represent those consumers who are the last ones to adopt a product if it gets that far in its product life cycle. Now, let's relate this concept to the topic of discussion. For a fad, it may not get past the early adopter stage, as its product life cycle is shorter. As well, though the rate of adoption may be quick, fads are usually adopted by relatively few people. Adopters may all belong to a common subculture, where the fad trickles across members, but rarely breaks out of that specific group. For a trend, the product life cycle is longer, therefore a product has the chance to go through the entire adoption cycle, allowing the mainstream public the chance to adopt it. As well, a successful trend is usually adopted by multiple groups, including an important market segment, such as working moms or baby boomers. This important segment attracts more adopters, which allows the product's adoption to grow and it to be more successful. We took a look at some specific examples of products in varying stages of their product life cycle. We hit the streets to find out if people thought these products were a trend or a fad, and why. A product that has recently gained a lot of traction in the market is Loose Leaf Tea, made relevant by companies including the well-known Canadian brand David's Tea. Founded in 2008 by David Siegel, David's Tea has become a force to be reckoned with. But do people think it's a trend or a fad? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say trend. I think a lot of people enjoy tea. I've always known people to buy tea. Um, as I've grown up, people have still been consuming tea, and uh, I think David's Tea is kind of like the staple in terms of uh, getting tea. So yeah. I think it's a trend because. Uh, Everyone is starting to focus on like health consciousness and a part of that is drinking more water. How do you drink more water when you don't really like the taste of it? There's tea. Tea has become a huge option when it comes to drinking more water and it's attached to a lot of health trends that are coming in as well. I think it's, a, uh, it's currently a trend. It's becoming a bigger trend nowadays. I see it everywhere. I didn't really notice it before the semester to be honest, but I see everyone carries uh, David's tea cups around and a lot of my friends actually have their packets in their room because it's a healthier option to coffee. I think it's trending in, in the certain niches that it covers. I don't think it's going to hit everyone because like not everyone likes tea, but I think it's still going to be growing and popular. There's more and more franchises. I think in terms of health and wellness, it's going to be so big that tea is going to be kind of just riffing up, like hopping on that train, you know? Uh, 
trend. Probably, probably a trend. trend Pretty yeah, successful it's a, business. It's a trend. Mm, trend. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's been around like longer than than most like other tea places I've seen. Trend. 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 I feel like tea's been around for a while. People are starting to move away from coffee now too, right? Because they're seeing the health benefits of like tea and everything. But I still like coffee, but. Beginning in the early 2000s, leggings and yoga pants have become popular as more than just workout clothes, largely due to the influence of athletic clothing companies such as Lululemon. There are over 2,700 types of yoga pants on the market. Yep, you heard that right. But are they a trend or are they a fad? Trend? Trend, trend. yeah. yeah. That's, that's definitely a trend. That's been happening since I was a kid. It's still continuing. New brands are coming out, innovating it, so it's gonna be a trend. It's so comfortable. Like, it has to be a trend just based on the comfort level. Like, I don't know any girls who would give up leggings. They've been around for, a, like, a while now, like, quite a few years. I feel like that's going to be a trend for a long time. Yeah. You see more of a, something that you can, like, work out and do yeah, anything yeah. with, right? Yeah. So, yeah, trend. I mean, I look great in them, but... As the newest thing in personal transportation, hoverboards seem to be gaining a lot of popularity. Though they aren't actual hoverboards, contrary to what Back to the Future had predicted, people still seem to think they're cool. But will they last, or will they fade away as soon as the next new thing comes along? That's definitely a fad. Something else is going to come out and replace it. Hoverboards? Definitely a fad. I think it's already done. A fad. I think it's a fad. Yeah. Like, that's not... I mean, pants, you need that. But Drinks, that's a toy. Okay. Yeah, that's a toy. That's a toy. <laughs> it, like, what actually benefits you? Yoga pants are actually like exercise pants and normal pants. That's a great benefit. Like, you need yeah. to wear pants. Tea also has great benefits. But the hoverboard, the benefit is just like, I'm cool, cool. and I don't need to walk. So it's going to be something bigger and like, better. So yeah, fast. like what, a real hoverboard could come around and you'd be like, oh, shit. I mean, whoa. Oh, I think just ridiculous. That's it. Oh, that's a fad. They're going to find something else that might be more effective or they might redesign it, there'll be new models. Well, over Christmas there were a lot of incidents with hoverboards and a lot of people got injured and there's a lot more cooler things coming out nowadays, so it's a fad. Oh, fad. Fad. Yeah. <laughs> they're annoying. Because like, I feel like they're not, because like everyone wears, like everyone drinks tea, everyone wears leggings, but like no one has a hoverboard. Except for like, strange people it's that you laugh like at. It's like a thing that's like, oh, that's weird, but like, I feel like we're not gonna see them in like five yeah. years from now. I think that's a fad. Yeah? I don't know. Those, like, those ones that you, you stand on that are catching on fire and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's kind of like a prototype. I feel like it's only going to last for a little while, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll go for many more years. Yeah. Uh, full fad. That's like, they're, they're, they're just waiting for the next best thing, you know? Yeah. So what is it that makes a product a trend that will steep for a long time, or a fad that bursts into flames? From our research, we found that the most important factors in making a product a successful trend are price, quality, practicality, whether it is easily adoptable, and whether it is relatable and accessible to more than one target group. But the most important factor was lifestyle. A product has to be practical and fit into the consumer's lifestyle in order for them to adopt it. It doesn't matter if it's the hottest new thing and everyone who's anyone has one. If something doesn't correlate with the way a consumer lives their life and the way they perceive themselves, they will not adopt it. Therefore, in order to be a successful trend, a product must be practical and fit the lifestyle of multiple groups of consumers.